This video is in reply to part of a video on Banford's channel, entitled Bethel's Big Secret. I am not with the Jehovah's Witnesses, but I am a Bible student, as was Charles Taz Russell. To Banford, I reply that I can appreciate your point regarding how most of the Jehovah Witnesses may not be allowed to see the earlier publications, which presented an entirely different message than what is presented by the Jehovah's Witnesses. However, in 1900 the Jehovah's Witnesses did not exist, and there was no authoritarian organization associated with the Watchtower Society of that time. The message of Russell's Watchtower was entirely different than that of the Jehovah's Witnesses. He was not presenting a message such as join us or be eternally destroyed as the Jehovah's Witnesses teach. The whole purpose of distributing literature in that day was totally different than with the Jehovah's Witnesses. Isolating a few words and placing them in the context of modern day standards, however, actually misrepresents Russell. It was simply a fact, however, that in 1900 the vast majority of the black people could not read. It was simply a fact that most who could read could do so only on a very elementary level. And certainly would not be able to appreciate what was being presented to them, even if they could read a few words of what was being said. I grew up in the 1940s in 1950s in Georgia, and I can attest that hardly any of the older black people of that time could read, and that those who claimed they could read had difficulty with anything beyond the very basics. Not only that, many of the older white people could not read. My own father could not read. It would have been totally useless to give my father a booklet tract and expect him to read it. I, myself, however, did read a lot to my father. Nevertheless, instead of spending a small fortune giving free printed material to people who could not read, Brother Russell, who was never a member of the Jehovah's Witnesses, decided it best not to distribute free literature in such areas. Do you believe that he should recommend that the volunteers should go to people who cannot read and, in effect, say to them, we know you cannot read, but here, read this tract? This does not mean that they were not to give a witness to any who are interested, whether black, white, red, yellow, etc. Their witness, however, was not a witness designed to build an organization such as the Jehovah's Witnesses, nor to save as many as possible from some eternal doom as being preached by the Jehovah's Witnesses as well as by most of the denominational churches. Yes, the white people in that time virtually insisted that laws be passed forbidding whites and blacks from congregating together. To most white Christians in the various denominational churches, it was unthinkable to have any close association with the black community. Indeed, under many of the laws at that time, people could get arrested for assembling with black people. Russell's Watchtower, however, had a policy of remaining free of getting involved with the politics of the world. Russell had to deal with such laws and with such people, without getting sidetracked into getting involved in the world's politics related to this. At the same time, Russell did expose how many were misinterpreting various scriptures to support the racism of that time. Unlike the JW's Watchtower Society, the Watchtower Society of Russell's time, however, did not claim any special authority over fellow believers. Just before he died, Russell stated, Let it be borne in mind that the society exercises no authority, makes no criticism, but merely gives advice, and that in the interest of the Lord's cause and the Lord's people. Watchtower, August 15, 1916, page 248. This reflects what he had been saying for decades. In 1893, Russell plainly stated, There is no organization today clothed with authority. Watchtower, September 1, 1893, page 262. This began to change shortly after Russell's death, leading to the vast majority of the Bible students around the world being separated from Rutherford's new organization. Russell's Watchtower and other publications of Russell's time are online on many websites, however. See links in the description area below to research related to this.